If you've ever watched a video and suddenly found yourself looking up two hours later wondering where the time went, congratulations, you've been hooked. Welcome to this video, I'm Tom Ensko and today I'm going to show you how to be the master fisherman of audience retention. Let's dive into the secrets of making videos that are quite literally unclickawayable. Is that a word? First up, let's talk about the importance of storytelling. Every great video tells a story. Even if you're just showing people how to tie a tie, there's a narrative arc you can follow that transforms a simple instruction into an epic journey. Yes, even tie-tying can be epic. So how do you build this compelling narrative? Well, it all starts with your hero. This could be you, a featured guest, or even the viewer. Yes, the viewer can even be the hero. Imagine them as the hero setting out on a quest to gain knowledge or solve a problem. Next up, we've got the quest. What's the goal? It could be learning a new skill or understanding a complex concept. This quest forms the backbone of your video storyline and gives your video purpose. Next, every good story needs a challenge or a conflict. This is where you address the obstacles or common mistakes in your video. For example, if your video is about photography, talk about the struggles with lighting or capturing motion and guide your viewers through overcoming these challenges. And let's not forget the resolution. How does our hero conquer the quest? This is where you wrap up your video by showcasing the outcome, new skills learned, or the problem solved. It's the climax where the viewer feels a sense of achievement and satisfaction. And if the viewer's feeling grateful, they can even hit that like button below to show it. Just saying. And finally, it wouldn't be an epic story without dragons. Huh? Now these aren't literal dragons. They're your wow factor, unexpected twists, humour, or fascinating insights that make your narrative unforgettable. Maybe it's a mind-blowing fact or a hilarious segment in your video. These are your dragons, making your video not only informative, but entertaining too. By weaving all these elements together, your video becomes more than just a series of clips. It's a journey that your viewers are emotionally invested in. And when viewers are invested, they watch, they stay, and they come back for more. Remember, every video you make has the potential to be a captivating story. Think about your hero, their quest, the challenges they face, and how they triumph. That's the secret sauce for keeping your viewers hooked from beginning to end. Alright, back to reality, or as close as we get round here. Next up, engaging your audience. Remember, creating video isn't just about broadcasting your thoughts. It's about sparking a conversation. That's what turns a passive viewer into an active participant. First up, ask questions. This isn't just about asking rhetorical questions. It's about encouraging your viewers to think and interact. For example, if you're doing a tech review, don't just talk specs. Ask your viewers what features matter most to them. Get them commenting, get them talking. Next, prompt responses in a way that feels genuine. Maybe run a poll or end the video with a thought-provoking question. What's the one gadget you can't live without? This isn't just to boost your engagement metrics, it's to build a genuine community around your content. And hey, don't be afraid to get a little personal. Sharing something about yourself can make your content more relatable. Maybe I'll let you in on a little secret. I'm a huge fan of 80s dance music. There, I said it. Now it's your turn. What's your guilty pleasure playlist? Leave a comment below. See, just by sharing that, I've made it not just about me talking at you, but us sharing a bit of fun together. It's these personal little touches that can turn your viewers into a loyal following. They're more likely to stick around, share your videos, and keep the conversation going. Remember, engagement is a two-way street. The more you connect with your audience, the more they'll connect with your content. Alright, let's shift gears a little bit and talk about one of my favourite parts of making video, the editing process. Now don't worry, I'm not going to go all techy on you, I want to keep this simple. So let's focus on one crucial aspect, pacing. Yes, pacing is your secret weapon in video editing. Think of pacing like the rhythm of your video. Just like in music, rhythm helps set the mood, keeps things lively, or slows them down when you need a dramatic effect. In video terms, it's what keeps your audience engaged without them realising why they can't look away. So how do you master pacing? First, think about the story you're telling. Faster cuts and quick transitions might work great for an exciting travel vlog or a high-energy DIY project. But if you're telling a deep, personal story, slower, more thoughtful cuts give your viewers time to absorb the emotions. A common technique I use to keep the pace flowing on my own content is by using J cuts and L cuts. Without making it complex, this is basically where you overlap your cuts by a few frames, allowing audio from the previous clip to bleed into the next one. This results in a well-paced edit for something like YouTube, making sure there's not even a split second where your audience can zone out or lose interest. Generally speaking, avoid long uncut sections that might make your audience reach for that dreaded skip button. Instead, use these cuts to keep the narrative flowing. Jump from one point to another smoothly without losing your viewer's interest. But remember, let your video breathe. Yes, your video needs to breathe, allowing the viewer to digest one idea before moving on to the next. This could be a short pause after a key point, a change in background music, or even a visual break with some stunning footage.
Balancing these elements is what makes an editing video feel like a conversation rather than a lecture. It's about making the viewer feel like they're part of the dynamic experience, not just passive observers. And trust me, getting this right is what can turn a good video into a great video. Now let's talk about something that's super critical but often overlooked tags and descriptions. Think of these as the seasoning in your video stew. Just the right amount can make your video flavours pop for the YouTube algorithm. Video tags are like your secret ingredient. They help YouTube understand what your video's about and suggest it to the right audience. But here's the thing, like any port and spice, you need to use them wisely. Too many irrelevant tags can confuse the algorithm, or even worse, make it think you tried to spam it. And that's a big no-no. Focus on about 5 to 8 relevant tags that really describe your video content. Include a mix of broad and specific tags. For example, if your video is about making the perfect cup of coffee, tags like coffee, espresso and coffee making tutorial are your best friends. Moving on to descriptions, they do more than tell your viewers what your video is about. A good description helps YouTube's algorithm understand and categorise your video properly. It's also your chance to include some keywords naturally. But remember, stuffing keywords will make it read like a robot wrote it, and nobody wants that. Start your description with a catchy informative line that includes a key phrase related to your video. Then use the next few lines to elaborate a bit more, providing context or even teasing what makes your video unique. Don't forget to include a call to action like subscribing to your channel or trying out your product. And just like in life itself, balance is key. Your description should be informative but not overwhelming. It's about giving just enough taste to tempt viewers and also the algorithm. Tags and descriptions are your behind the scenes heroes in making sure that your videos reach the right viewers and get the love they deserve from YouTube's algorithm. Algorithm. Use them wisely and you might just get that bump you need from the algorithm itself. Remember with thoughtful tags and descriptions, you're only one video away from potentially going viral. So there you have it, whether you're a seasoned pro looking to spice up your content or a newbie ready to dive in, these tips are your starting line for creating videos that no one can resist. Thanks very much for watching, hit that like button and as always, happy creating.